Welcome to Paddle Play TV, where we review and analyze table tennis matches. For this episode, we will be looking at the finals, the last match in women's division in WTT contender Zagreb. This is the clash of two Japanese, Hina Hayata, battling Miwa Harimoto in the finals. Prior to reaching the finals, Miwa Harimoto faced Ju Chen Hui and Li Ho Ching. She then faced Prithika Pavade in the quarterfinals and Miyu Kahara in the semifinals. Hina Hayata started with Leia Rakovac and Satsuki Odo. She then faced Chen Yi Ching in the quarterfinals and her compatriot Miyu Hirano in the semifinals. This is their fourth face off in international stage and from their past international battles. All were won by Hina Hayata. The most recent these two have faced each other was in the finals of All Japan Table Tennis Championships earlier this year, wherein Hina Hayata won again 4 to 0. Serve. Well, Miwa has improved so much in the Zagreb. previous months, and we are looking forward to his first ever win against Hayata. Who are you rooting for? Really seize control of the rallies. Harimoto, part of the three strong women's team squad. Even contest these uh, singles finals. international stage good shot by Hayata attacking the body of Miwa Harimoto Miwa has a few errors in his serves and Hayata is just too good in back flicking those chops of Miwa this has been a battle of who has a better accuracy and better consistency in those attacks by the way Miwa Harimoto is the sister of Tomokazu Harimoto she is world's number eight at only 15 years old. She has a good 70% win rate this year. She is using her brother's signature blade, the Tomokazu Harimoto Inner Force ALC blade paired with a back-to-back -back Dignix 05 rubber. Hina Hayata is using her signature blade Hayata H2 with Hurricane 3 National and Dignix 05 in her backhand. on a superb career trajectory. And pressure and producing the right shot.
the system. Hayata impressively playing with opposite to parallel attacks, creating open angles. Her erroneous serve during the nine, old score is a big point lost. Hina Hayata just keeps on attacking, and her confidence is higher than Miwa, especially that Hayata is more exposed to international events, and she has more experience in this sport. Hina Hayata is the world's highest ranked Japanese at world's number five, with a good 77% win rate this year. She is a left-hand dominant attacker, and she is just 23 years old. Turn the serve well. Hanimoto was able to play in the earlier rounds. Now that though was... Hina Hayata has control of the game, and she is playing superbly in here. She has been attacking the serves of Miwa Harimoto, and her first ball and third ball attacks are just too good. Her follow-up attacks are also more consistent compared to Miwa this time. When she loops the ball, the trajectory is so low and her attacks are powerful. Miwa seems to be pressured, and we can see her frustration as we are not hearing her cheerful victories after points. At this moment, Hina Hayata is just better, in my opinion. One more game, and this closes the women's division in Zagreb unless Miwa could go on a head-to-head -head full blast. Her attacks are not as consistent as Hayata's this time. This is best of seven. So whoever wins four will win the gold in this WTT contender Zagreb 2024.
match. Most has the top seed poised to live up to the pre-match billing. Well, Hina Hayata is just better this time. Her attacks are just unstoppable, and Miwa seems to not be in the mood to go all out against Hayata. Nice try, Miwa. You are still young, and you have a long way to go, and congratulations to Hina Hayata for being the best in Zagreb. This ends the women's division in the WTT Contender Zagreb 2024, with Hina Hayata being the winner, and Miwa Harimoto as the runner-up. Thank you so much for watching, and see you on the next episode.